hi everyone this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel in this video we are going to have a look at yet another exciting project called as dark ir what dark ir is trying to do is best described by showing you this example on the left hand side we have this low light blurry image and then with the help of dark ir you can make it all lighted as you can see on the right hand side so what exactly is happening here is that in low light conditions you have noise and blur in the images yet the previous methods as you can see led net or red in former cannot tackle dark noisy images and dark blurry using a single model and that is where this new approach called as dark ir comes very handy it pro proposes the first approach for all in one low light restoration including illumination noisy and blur enhancement if you look at this diagram this gives you a simple architectural workflow so here the neural network or the model dark ir follows an encoder decoder architecture they use different blocks for encoding and decoding that follows the metaformer structure the encoder focus, focuses on the low light illumination issues using fourier information and the encoder then produces a low restoration and low resolution reconstructed image with corrected illumination and then comes decoder which focuses on upscaling and reducing the blur using the prior illumination enhanced coding and coded features to achieve this the decoder uses large receptive field spatial attention and this design allows their lightweight model to have less parameters and flops than previous methods let's install it locally and then we will play around with it too fix few of the low light and blurry images let me also give a huge thanks to our good friends at mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on very very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent so this is my ubuntu system and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram let's start by creating a virtual environment with conda and now let's git clone the repo and i will also drop the link to it in video's description okay so it is asking me for my username so let me put it in and then uh, i will proceed further and the repo is cloned next up we just need to install all the requirements from the root of the repo this is going to take few minutes so let's wait Meanwhile, let me introduce, introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation and I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. All the prerequisites are done. Next up, let's run the application and it is going to launch the Gradio demo in our local browser so let me run this and there you go so it is running on our local host let me go to my browser and access it here at port 7 at 7860 which is a default radio port and there you go dark ir is running let's try to um, play around with it so what i'm going to do i'm just going to sorry i don't know why i closed it sorry it was a i'll just reopen it no harm done okay sorry what i was trying to do i was just trying trying to make it a bit bigger so that we should be able to see the images so i'm going to select few of the dark images from my local system and we will play around with it let me go there i'll just go here let me select that okay let me move them so i have just selected this image from my local system and then you see it is quite blurry it is very low light let's run this submit button to see what happens so it is working on it and there you go you see it is more brighter or bright and it is more radiant and this is actually quite quite impressive i would i must say okay let's try out another one i'm just going to select maybe this image which is even darker let's run this and while that runs let me quickly show you the vram consumption too Okay, so it is running on CPU. Wow. Okay, that's cool. And look at this running on CPU. 
and then amazing performance here okay let's try out a few more so i'm just going to click here and then maybe i'll just try this blurry one should be fun let's wait for it and the speed is quite good too yeah so because okay, it is a bit scary i don't think so because it is inherently blurry so maybe that is why okay let's try out one more and then i'm just going to okay let's try out this blurry people should be fun with this one because this is again an inherently blurred image yeah so inherently blurred it couldn't really do better than that still more brighter i would say okay can it do the blurry sun oh wow it's a bad image anyway let's check it out okay for this one it took long time by the way anyway so you see it has made it brighter i'm just keep coming down and more brighter yeah much much better okay this one is good okay let's try out one more and then i'm just going to go maybe this low lighting again so the image quality should be good because the examples uh you see much much better so if the inherent image quality is good then it will perform well that's good this one is really fabulous okay let's try out one more again a darker image let's see how it performs there you go much much better much much better okay let's try out one more and then i'm just going to give it so you see it is a bit dark so this is normally you know if you go somewhere uh, as a tourist and then you take photos you come back you see that these are just dark you can just make them br uh, brighter like this and much better you see it looks on the right hand side it looks more natural and it seems like an evening time so it has kept the actual spirit of the image as you can see here seems like venice maybe i don't know okay let's try out it let's see if i have done all of them okay let's try this one there you go much much better much better so i really like the way it keeps the spirit of the actual image really good stuff okay so these are the ai ones let me generate uh, check out this one these are the ai generated ones let's see what it do uh, does with these ones i'm hoping that it will make walls yes perfect really good stuff very impressive okay i promise one last one i just wanted to check this sun one or maybe this one and what it does with this dark room wow oh this is good this is good much better so look very impressive uh, let me know what do you think about this dark ir if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please please do me a favor and share it among your network thanks a lot